What's going on, Bears fan? Welcome back to Bear Down Forever, a place where I like to talk about the Chicago Bears. Now, as you all know, the Chicago Bears schedule recently came out, and I just wanted to come to talk to you real quick about, about some of the things I think is going to happen. Now, these are my opinions, and I just feel like it's a lot of bad talk being go going on about the Bears in the national media and in Chicago media as well. People just don't believe that the Bears can be good. Now, think about the way they played last year, you know, with the old regime, with the old way the plays were called, and we didn't know who was calling the plays, and and peak quarterback coming out talking about, you know, this play is not going to work. It didn't work in practice. We know it's not going to work. But instead of having the players trying to fit into, you know, your system, they're tailor they're tailoring tailoring. Excuse me. Wow, I can't talk today. They are tailoring the offense to Justin Fields and the players that they're bringing in. Now, that makes sense. I mean, if you know football, and I'm sure that you guys do because you're here, you know, bear down forever. Chicago Bears, we love y'all. And, I mean, it just makes sense. You want to cater to the quarterback's talents as well as the players around them. That's what's going to make the team succeed. I mean, you know, you don't see teams with a quarterback who's not mobile trying, you know, have him do a read option or or quarterback draw, you, you know, with, with like you, a, a couple of yards to get because because it's not going to work. So I'm I'm just saying. So you know I'm just here and j j just just trying to get this started. So I'm gonna skip over the preseason and I'm gonna go right to the um the regular season now. Week one, start with the 49ers. Now I believe that. In the game they played against the Niners last year, the Bears should have won that game. I really believe the Bears should have won that game. And I do believe that the Niners are going to be good. But I also believe that the Bears are going to sneak up on some people this year. I really believe that. I believe that Justin Fields is going to take a leap forward. I believe that the defense is going to be better because our secondary is going to be better with the, with the young players that they added to the secondary and and, and some of the players that was already there, like Eddie Jackson, he's going to be in his regular position so he can make become the playmaker that he normally is. So I'm going to go. We're going to start 1-0. Now, week two, this is, the, 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 this is, this is where it goes, you know, a, a little off the rails because they got to play the, 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 the cheesy heads, you know, them guys that wear the cheese on their heads and everything. Y'all yeah, know who I'm talking about. And, um... <sighs> It's a night game, you know, the number 12 they got up there, he, he plays great at night. So I'm just going to say the Bears will start one and one. Okay, next week, on the third week, they, they play the Texans. Now, I believe that this is another one for the Bears. So I have the Bears going, starting um, two and two. And please forgive me if, if I lose track of the teams because, you know, I mean, of the record because I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just – Kicking it with y'all, and so I believe that they're gonna they're they're gonna beat the Texans. So then week four, the Giants. <laughs> now a couple of my friends, you know, some people that's near and dear to me are huge Giants fans, but you know, they keep it real, and I believe they'll agree with me when I say I believe the Bears are gonna win this game. So I have that as a win. Minnesota, week five. Now this one is gonna. It's going to, you know, be something different because I believe Minnesota is, is pretty good. You know, that they got some talent. They got some talented receivers. You know, I believe that quarterback, he's, eh, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. He's an he's NFL caliber quarterback. I'm saying as far as, you know, other quarterbacks, that's, you know, that they're going to see and everything. But um, I think with this one, I think Minnesota may pull this one out. So let's mark that down as a loss. Now. We got the, the following week um, on week six, Thursday night football against Washington. They're no longer the football team. They're the commanders now. So I believe the Bears are, are going to command a victory and the, the Bears are going to win this one. Then week seven, Monday night going down to New England. Now they're going against the, the greatest coach in NFL history, maybe sports history, who knows, but I believe they can pull this one out. I believe they can beat New England. So that's going to be a win. Now we got, uh-oh, 
<laughs> I created a mistake. Bear with me. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're back now. So now they got Dallas is Sunday night. <clears throat> so actually, it's it's a noon game. Sorry, but um, I think that this is going to be interesting because um, one of Justin Fields' very close friends plays on Dallas. You know, I mean, you might know him. He, he rookie last year. He wears number eleven. You know, defensive rookie of the year, then defensive player of the year. You know. Ran a 4-3, something 40 as a linebacker, which is ridiculous. But um, Michael Parsons, so this is going to be a good one because I know that there's probably going to be something going on between these two individually. Like, okay, like he's probably going to say he's going to sack Justin X amount of times. And Justin will probably say, well, you know, I'm going to get away because coming out, they had a bet. So he was going to run the best, the, the fastest 40. And Michael won because he ran a 4-3. He ran in the four threes and Justin ran in the four fours. So um, <sighs> I'm keeping it real. I, I'm going to have to give this one to Dallas for right now. So um, next week nine, they got the Dolphins. This is tricky. I do believe that with the talent that they have at receiver, and it's, it's just they, they, they put together a pretty good team in, in Miami, and it's going to be a tough one. So, ah, man, you know. Now, me being a realist, you know, in my heart, in my heart, I want to say the Bears, but looking at everything that they have with them, I I'm, I may have to go with the Lions. So, I mean, I may have to go with the Dolphins. Ooh, excuse me. Um, the Dolphins. The Dolphins. Week 10, they play the Lions, win for the Bears, bear down, let's go beat them Lions. Um, week 11, Atlanta. The Bears are going to be in that one. They're going to play... Um, the <laughs> the Atlanta Bears because there's so many of the ex Bears that were on the team previous years are on that team in Atlanta now. So um, week twelve they play the Jets. Um, that's going to be a win. Week thirteen they play the Packers. Them cheesy heads again. Now this one I'm seeing a little different. They got some games under their belts. They've played together as a cohesive unit. They've made some changes, switched some things up. I think the Bears can pull this one out. It's at home in Chicago. I got the Bears winning this game. I know y'all going to say, well, oh, you're crazy. You know, they got that number 12 guy up there. Yeah, I think they could beat him. They almost beat him last year. You know, the, the game where he said all that stuff in the end zone. But, um, yeah. Watch. Okay. Week 14, they got the bye. It's going to be well needed because it's, it's a long season. And this is um, week, well, a, late, a very late bye for them. Week 15, they go, they stay home, and they got to play against the Eagles. Now, the Eagles added, added some talent. The Eagles added some talent this season. I'm telling you, they added some talent. Now, um, my brother's an Eagles fan. Come on, the close friends are Eagles fans, so I, I know a lot about the team. And this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a good one. And a lot of people don't give Jalen Hurts the credit he deserves. I think Jalen Hurts is a good quarterback. You know, he plays very well. He's he's extremely he's extremely well um, um, when he's on the run. He can he still he keeps his eyes downfield, and he can. Throw the ball. He can throw the deep ball good. And I mean, with some of the talent that they that they acquired this this offseason, um, you know, the guy that they drafted that they didn't actually draft, you all know who he is, Brown, you know what I mean? He's woo, gotten his goodness gracious. So hey, but <clears throat> okay, I think coming out the bye, that's gonna be a tough one, but I I gotta <sighs> I think the Eagles might pull that one out. So I got to put that as a, as a loss. Then they got to play the Bills. And Buffalo's tough. Buffalo's going to be a really tough game. So that's going to be a loss, I believe. Then they, week 17, they got Detroit. That's going to be another win. <laughs> Bear down, baby. And they finish out with Minnesota. And I do believe, 
I do believe that that's going to be another win. So the Bears uh, 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 end up winning, you know, right there. So now, that being said, now Bears fan again. I know some of y'all might be like, "This guy's crazy." He got them going eleven and six. I believe they can do it. I'm looking at the schedule. I'm looking at the schedule, and I'm looking at the schedule, and I'm like, "Listen, you know what? This team was in some games last season that they really should have won. They really, they really should have beat Pittsburgh." But we all know that the the the, the call from the, the call, we just the call, and I mean. San Francisco, I believe they gave that game away, you know. Um, it was, I think they should have beat Green Bay the second time. I really think they should have beat that. I mean, you know, but the defense didn't hold up, you know. They should have beat Baltimore. So, I, I know it's a different team. It's a different year. It's a different regime, you know. And I know some of y'all like, well, we still don't have – the 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 number one receiver and we don't have this and we don't have that but we have talent you know and we have a new regime and I believe that I'm saying I'm I'm telling you one of these rookie linemen are gonna gonna, gonna really surprise us might be two of them but and I'm telling you I mean that you know it's I I really I'm telling you if you look into some of these players that that Poles has brought in, you know, he, he brought in some some guys that are that are hungry and extremely talented. These guys are talented. I mean, they they come in, they're ready to play, and they're eager to learn. Nobody that he brought in is a me 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 guy. They're all listen. I'm here with the team, and I want to be taught. So they want to learn. So they're coming in. They're hungry. They're they're trying to figure it out. And I'm serious, you know. So I know it's it's probably, you know, a lot of y'all out there like, oh man, this guy's just just delusional. Uh, you can call me delusional if you want to, but in my heart of hearts, I'm looking at this schedule, and I mean, I'm staring at it. And I see, I see a lot of wins. Now, granted, it's considered an easy schedule because of the way the Bears finished last season. But I mean, you know, it's it's the NFL. These are the top players in the world. So everybody they're playing against, you got to realize they get paid too. So when 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 your team doesn't win, well, with the Bears, you know, when they don't win, you know, we we always want to complain and say, well, they need to do they they need, but you know, the people that they're playing against get play, get paid too. So we can't just look at it like, oh well, they should beat everybody. Well, you know, you want them to. I do. I want them to be. I want them to go seventeen and zero. I really do. Is it going to happen? I sincerely doubt it. But I believe that it's a lot of these teams are here that they, they can beat. And I believe they they shoot. I mean, who knows? They. I hope. I hope it don't happen. I really hope it doesn't happen. They may lose some games that they shouldn't. You know, and they may win some games that they shouldn't. You know, I hope they win some games that they should. I hope they'll lose no games that they shouldn't. But that being said, you know, it is what it is. And um, a lot of people, you know, talk down about the Bears and and the way the way that the team is being put together. But like I said before, I really believe that Ryan Poles has a plan, and he's sticking to that plan. And if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Well, he has a plan. So he's planning to succeed, and he's sticking to his plan. And the players, you know, as of right now, from what we can see, because, I mean, of course, we're not behind the closed doors with them. We're not in the building, so we don't see everything. But what I'm seeing so far is that they're buying in, and I'm saying I'm looking at some of the players that they brought in. You know, they brought in, they brought in, they brought in some talent, man. They brought in some talent. And, no, of course, I said it again. I'm going to say it now. They didn't bring in the – the, the number one wide receiver, like like everybody is saying that that they need. But they brought in some talent at receiver. They really did, you know. So I think Village Jones Jr. is going to surprise a lot of people, man, with some of the stuff that he can do. The guy is, he got great hands. He's he, he's elusive. He runs hard. 
You know, it's not going to be like, oh, you know, you touch him and he falls over. No, you, you touch him, he's liable to knock your block off. So, you know, they're going to they're gonna implement Monty. It's not going to be, you know, third and one or fourth and short and everything. And, and Monty's standing on the sideline and, and the defender's like, thanks, we, we, we know you're passing. Or are you trying to, we, we know you're definitely going to run up the quarterback. It's not going to happen. You know, you know, and if Monty gonna be in the game ready, you know, or uh, they got a fullback now. So if if Monty's not getting the ball, they're gonna let the fullback pound it in there. So I just believe that we're gonna see some different stuff this year. And um I believe that these fellas are gonna be ready to play. So all that being said, man, you know, we're gonna stick with our beloved Bears. I mean, I know I am. I'm gonna bear down forever. No matter what, win, lose, or tie, bear that Bears fan till I die. So it's going down. That's the way I see it. That's the way it's going to be. That's in my heart of hearts. So all that being said, I've taken up enough of your time for, for today. So y'all enjoy it. Have a great one. You know, I appreciate y'all coming through. Give us a like, subscribe, leave a comment. And always, and always remember, bear down forever.